What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dreadlabs and today we're going to talk Photoshop actions. Dreadlabs. An example of what a Photoshop action could be is getting this effect in one click. Or getting this effect in one click. Or to make a noise texture in one click. Um, so as you can see, all of these um, different types of achievements that you can uh, make with just one um, one quick click, basically. Um, so what I did was um, I used Photoshop Actions. Excuse me for my voice today, guys. Um, my voice is a bit raspy today. Uh, anyway, so um, to make a uh, to make one of these, uh, you go to Window Actions. And here you already have some things in go going on here. Uh, for example, this is a trash machine that I bought from Black Market. Um, anyway, let's just take the noise ex noise texture for an example for this. Um, you basically record your actions in Photoshop, and, and then you can just play them back, uh, which will save you uh, yeah, a few cl clicks or maybe a ton of clicks. Um, so, for example, with this noise texture, with the full um, actions that I uh, take in here are new layer. Uh, fill the background with 50% gray then go to filter noise add noise and we'll add a percentage of 20 for, for example <coughs> and I recorded all of this and basically it will get me the exact same effect in one click like this so how do we go about making a new action um, we'll go to this plus button here and we'll name our action let's just name ours uh, noise texture for now And now we'll click on record. And as you can see, the red circle here is um, showing up. Uh, so now all of the things that we're going to do uh, will be recorded into this Photoshop action. For example, I'll click on new layer. And you can see that there's new layer popping up in here. Uh, now I'm going to click shift backspace to get on my fill menu. And we'll click 50% gray and click OK. And as you can see, um, the fill is also uh, added into the action here. So what we want to do right now is we're going to go to filter and then we're going to noise, add noise. And then we'll click just 20% is fine for now. And now once we're done with the, the uh, action, we're going to click the stop button. And now we have a noise texture here. So if we click and play this, it will automatically add a new layer with a noise texture. Um, so this could be nice, for example, if you would be doing motion graphics and you want a noise filter going on. Um, just make a few new layers and click this action and then you'll have multiple uh, reseeded noise uh, textures that you can use as BNG sequence for example for what this does basically is if you follow my chrome type tutorial um, I'll, I'll put a link up in here right now um, anyway if you follow my f uh, chrome type tutorial you would know that there's quite a few settings that you have to click um, before you would do the effect basically um, but with Photoshop Actions you can reduce that time significantly, especially when you do multiple chrome types or multiple effects for one artwork or for multiple clients for example. Um, so let's just make a new uh, font in here. Um, let's just use the same one as in the chrome type tutorial. <coughs> and in Photoshop Actions sometimes um, the effects won't be properly recorded. For example, um, the effect that I recorded for my Chrome uh, effect, uh, the clipping mask of the layer styles won't be uh, in the right place, as you can see once I click on play. Uh, so the gradient map and the curves, uh, as you might have seen in the tutorial, need to be on top of the group. So we need to drag them outside of here and make a clipping mask out of them. And um, now we can just uh, adjust uh, the gradients that we did, for example, to this one. Uh, as you might have noticed, this will t save a lot of time while working on larger projects. Um, for example, the chrome type thing would take me, I think, about 5 to 10 minutes uh, to get it right. And um, I can easily cut that time in half while using Photoshop Actions. So I highly recommend uh, to increase your workflow speed to uh, add Photoshop actions to your work. Um, get yourself accustomed with um, yeah, um, Photoshop actions, basically. Um, so yeah, this was a short one, but I hope it was really helpful. Um, 
Uh, if you guys are interested in getting the project files for all of my tutorials and live streams, you can find them on our Patreon, the link below. If you have a tutorial suggestion, please let me know in the comments. And if you want to join us on Discord, click the link below. See you in the next video. Bye.